Hey Fellowship, we wanted to give you an update of the things that have been going on around the project and uh, here in the community room, if you were here last week, you've already noticed a big difference in this room with some of the improvements that have been done. I wanted to let you know it's not really horse construction that's doing a lot of the improvements in here. Uh, really it's been an opportunity for people from our church to come in uh, with some volunteer hours, some time to do painting and to really, really fix it up in here and it's, it's really coming along. A big difference the, the way that it looks so um, week after week it's just getting better and better so thank you again to those who are volunteering there's going to be more opportunity in the future and we'll be sure to let you know especially through those Friday emails and through these videos of opportunities where we'll need some volunteers and uh, and you can come in and help out so uh, so thank you again and uh, keep your eye out for more opportunities in the future some of the most significant changes that have happened this week have been on the outside of the building You'll notice when you get here on Sunday, the roof has been put on and uh, the block wall, the firewall has been done and they've uh, been filling that block wall with concrete that's called grouting process and they'll continue to wrap the rest of that building uh, throughout, this, throughout this week and into next week. One of the exciting things that will happen next week is uh, Lord willing and if the weather cooperates we'll be able to pour the concrete floor for the inside of the worship center. So that'll be really exciting to see happen. And we will be scheduling a time because the building will be closed in and you won't be able to really see it. We'll be scheduling a time in the near future when you will be able to go inside the building and see what that looks like. Uh, so we'll be scheduling that with uh, the construction crew and uh, working for a time for you to do that. Another thing you may be wondering about is what about these new bathrooms behind the plastic in the hallway of the education building. Uh, they plan to finish up these floors on Monday, so uh, Lord willing, next week we'll be able to open these up and they'll be able to be additional bathrooms for us to use, and that'll open the door for, um, uh, for doing the renovations on the existing bathrooms up in this building uh, soon after that. It's going to be increasingly important that you follow your parking attendance instructions when you arrive on Sundays and, and for other events because back here down through this side of the building we have as part of this phase a regrading and paving and adding some parking spaces over here by the new main entrance and so when you get here on a Sunday the traffic pattern will be different so next week we're going to be giving you some information about that so for the 24th and for the first it's likely you won't no one will be able to drive through here so they want to get that done before the real snow falls and um, which might be in December or who knows around here but they want to get that done soon so um, just please follow the the parking plan we'll probably send you a map through email and then when you get here on Sunday mornings just follow the parking attendants and they'll direct you in a new pattern back here at the septic tanks we were able to get the concrete pads poured this week and uh, even though it snowed this week for the first time, that's all done. It takes a little bit longer to cure at this time of year. So they're going to keep that covered one more week. And then after that, it'll be open. We'll be able to park on this and drive through here. So again, there'll be uh, parking places here along the edge of the, uh, the blocked off area. But then the week after that, it'll be opened up again. So again, uh, some exciting things going on. Thank you again for your prayers. Uh, look for opportunities to serve and, uh, and, and continue to, to pray that God would glorify himself here in this place and through this church community.